Hey y'all, Artist Poet Girl here, also known as APG Jamie, and today we're going to work on an October journal page that uh, will be turned into a greeting card. I know you have seen it before, but sometimes y'all might want to see it again, and, and if you don't, just watch it anyway, okay? Just, just leave your YouTube uh, screen open. And let it play out while you go, I don't know, cook dinner, have a sandwich, go see some potty people or something, okay? Okay. So, any hoot, here I am. This is the, uh, she is face number, I believe it was number 11 from uh, September, 21 faces in September as hosted by a Yala. I think I said her name correctly. High five, people. High five. Okay, so as you can see, uh, I'm adding in, um, who is it? Burnt umber, most likely, for darks around the edges and under the nose and along the bridge of the nose. And uh, then I went in with... Um, a medium sort of shade of Caucasian skin color. It's what I'm most familiar with, so that's what I usually do, okay? Then I went in with a lighter uh, peach color, yeah, and zipped right through all that, and I added some blush into her cheeks, and her eyes, I guess I'd I didn't get that film. Sorry, Phil. And I'm adding heart pupils to her eyes because I just thought it would be fun for a different. Yeah, it's maybe a little creepy, but it's still fun. I've seen people do them with stars and moons and yeah. So, there we go. Add in some little nostrils. She is booger free. Ha <laughs> ha. Thank you very much. So anyway, uh, we're just going to paint this girl around, uh, along. We're going to paint along, paint around. This is her hair. It's a different kind of hair. Well, I mean, you know, a girl with heart pupils needs, uh, sorry about that, needs a uh, different, different kind of hair, right? So it kind of wraps around, yeah. I like this color of yellow gold. It's yellow gold. Um, I like it. And uh, did some shading on there. I guess that didn't show up either in the video. I guess it didn't make the cut. Make sure when you're adding shading that you keep that, uh, chase the edge back, you know, damp so you don't have a hard line. And there's a star on her face, like the original drawing had a star on her face. And I painted it bronze, and then I went over that with red, and then I went over the, the red again with, with bronze uh, metallic paint to end up with it looking like that. And I put the little swirly thing back on her head. And, uh, yeah, I'm not even sure what all this video is going to show because I really spat it out because it was a long video. I didn't even want to sit through it, okay? So I painted her, I added a little bit more of watercolor paper onto her because she didn't have any shoulder shot. And I think it added pretty well. So... And I didn't mean to paint it blue. I really wanted it green, but blue was on my table, and that's what I grabbed. So there we go. And that's a little rubber stamp uh, of a spider because, you know, it's it's end of the month is coming. It's Halloween-ish and stuff. And what ended up happening when I was doing the, because it's heat embossing, that light blue color, the embossing powder would not stick on the light blue color. It did okay on the dark blue and the medium blue, but it just wasn't sticking on that light blue. So I kind of had to dance around with a little bit and 
finally got it on there after several yeah so it didn't really even look like spiders anymore so just between you and me there's spiders but yeah and because I really wasn't happy with the blue and I really wanted green when I got through with all this I went over it with a wash of green and no that didn't get filmed so it's okay it's all right you love me anyway hit gun Voila. gotta do that to melt the embossing powder and I used clear embossing powder so it really acts as, as a resist when I put that uh, green wash on there that you don't get to see so yeah and I've cut her out um, let's see what else it's gonna drag it on there isn't it hmm so fine we're gonna work on the background with the new patty tolly Perry stencil and I'm using hills and valleys and they are actually designed to use on the um, 8 by 10 jelly arts printing plate that is trademarked y'all so but there are other ways you can use stencils you don't have to have a jelly plate to uh, to use stencils and here I'm creating a wash like on the surface of a uh, cardstock that was gesso that I used through the stencil and I used my craft paint with a uh, pretty you know water and yeah and now I'm going over it slightly offset from the original stenciling with more uh, white gesso and I will go over it again with another uh, wash of the, I believe this color of this paint was called plum. Okay, so it's sort of a, a violet um, purpley color. And I'm going to do some more heat embossing because why not? <laughs> so that's just a texture stamp. I don't know who made it. And uh, I'm just haphazardly putting it around and here comes my clear embossing powder and tap it off be sure you tap that off onto a page and put it back in your jar and you can use it forever or as long as it takes to sing musical 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 it's just a musical interlude for you and me just we musical interlude <laughs> as many times as you could sing that like you know forever oh this is uh, my favorite color brown I know you don't have to buy brown paint you can make it and you know there's just a gazillion shades of it and yes I'm sorry delusions does have a funny little smell to it it's not horrible or anything it's just kind of funny but I really like this brown it looks truly to me it looks exactly like a melted Hershey milk chocolate bar that's just what it looks like so it's just kind of fanning that uh, a little bit because I want it sort of dry because I, I want it to sink down in between the embossing the you know the clear embossing uh, stuff there as a resist and to go back there and stain on the uh, background which it did and now I'm wiping it off with a damp uh, art wipe also known as a baby wipe and uh, left me with a cool colored background and this is an exclusive stencil I'm not sure how long the offer is was uh, to get Patty Tolly Parish's stencils, you do need to go to iStencils.com and uh, search for Patty Tolly Parish, and they will come up. Anyway, at the time I purchased her last new set, that was the exclusive when you uh, bought at least one Patty Tolly Parish. Like I said, I don't know how long that offer was going on. So, so that was that, and it looked really cool. And now we got our girl back and I'm going to turn her into a pocket because y'all know I like the pockets okay so there she is and I stamped my words onto deli paper which is the kind of paper you wrap sandwiches in I use Dixie brand and uh, there's my my obscure kind of 
fall saying. Yeah, I'm not even going to read it because it's, yeah, it's kind of weird. And I scanned my journal page and printed it out on my Canon selfie printer, which I like. I really like it for making these kind of cards. And there's the advanced tape gun, gl a tape gun. There's the advanced tape glider, also known as an ATG gun, because it's, yeah. So here we go. We're on to the card portion, and that's just scrapbook paper back there. I don't know the maker. I don't know. Yeah, it's just it's just paper. It's not even card uh, scrapbook card. But yeah, it's paper. So um, we're in. Yeah, I was gonna say we're making the card again. I already said it. So uh, this is my um, you know stamp that I designed several many few years ago. It's just a door, y'all, and I had it made at a, sh a local shop, and I was just stamping the date on there, and when you got a stamp on the inside of your card, make sure you get everything flipped around right, because, yeah, you mix up a card or two that way, and it's a pumpkin, so there I was signing it, and a bone folder is not a real bone. Now we're going to put a little decorative strip on the envelope, because, hey, because you can. So there it is. And that was Scott's Crit Quick Dry Glue. Now I'm writing my address to return to. And we're about to get into a little photo segment. I'm happy with her. I love the background. Fall leaves, music, dancing along the streets. Or something like that. Look at her eyes. They're so, I don't know, they're not really creepy, so, and, uh, yeah, this was like a three or four hour page at least, spread over a couple days, and, uh, zipped it down to less than 13 minutes, you are welcome, and, thanks for watching, and, <sighs> happy arting, y'all.